It's at this point of the story that Morgan starts crying. He breaks down and I do not blame the man. It's fucking horrible and I just want to give him a big hug and say everything's going to be all right, Morgan. But I am holding the full weight of a bookshelf halfway down a set of stairs and Morgan is the only thing stopping that bookshelf from caving my face in. I was like, Morgan! <laughs> And Morgan managed to pull himself together for about eight seconds and then just went bah, and let the bookshelf go. I fell backwards. It literally rolled over me and took out the light hanging above the staircase. I'm now lying on my back getting showered in broken glass as the bookshelf turned end over end and just went thunk right through a freshly painted wall at the bottom of the stairs. I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, oh. tiny cut on my forehead which is just piercing blood for some reason. Apart from that, I'm fine. <laughs> Morgan, however, he's not fine. <laughs> Morgan is the opposite of fine. <laughs> Something happened when the bookshelf lodged itself in the wall and his sadness just went away in a second and he started pissing himself laughing. <laughs> Hysterical. And he had the creepiest laugh I've ever heard in my life. I'm standing going, this is weird. And he's going, <laughs> like some sort of demonically possessed baritone kookaburra. <laughs> Can I still have the bookshelf? He's like, yeah. We extracted from the wall. The bookshelf, incidentally, showing no sign of having just rolled down a staircase and smashed through a wall. We carry it out to my car. We had to stop about six times because Morgan was like, hang on a minute. We got it to my car, put it on the trailer, and Morgan was in such a great mood, he let me have the bookshelf for free. Oh! <laughs> mm. <sighs> and that's where the story should end. <laughs> but there was something about the bookshelf going through the wall that flipped a fucking switch in Morgan's head, and he is now hungry for more destruction. 